Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LE 3D Printing and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fuse different color filaments together. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I actually found a new way and a super easy way which um, someone shared on one of the TiVo Tornado, I believe. Uh, Facebook groups online on Facebook on how to fuse um, different filaments together like these are my filament scraps uh, some of them were left over from the end of a roll uh, and then some of them were just ones that I had to cut off that a filament jam or something like that um, but it's actually super easy and the only thing you're gonna need is your filaments that you want to fuse together so I already have this roll of fused filament and then I'm gonna add, be adding this gold silk you're going to need an extra um, piece of PTFE tube and then you're going to need a lighter um, and then maybe a nail clipper or just some snippers to um, cut angles onto the filament so they're easier to fuse together. So we're going to actually go upstairs in a different location so I can use the lighter um, and then you're also you're actually also going to need a bowl of cold water which I'll go show you guys later what that's for but um, yeah so let's get right to it. All right, so this is actually super easy. So I'm just gonna take the end of this filament, it's actually this side, and just use some nail clippers and cut an angle on it. Um, it's not that hard to do. Just kind of like this, um, just a simple, just to make it a little pointier to fuse them together. And I'm also gonna do it on this side, just like that. And then what you wanna do is just put one side into the PTFE tube and then do that to the same other side. It doesn't really matter which which way they go. We're just going to use the lighter and try finding the midpoint where they meet and just tur turn the lighter on. And you're just going to be holding it over the spot. You don't have to go, um, the flame doesn't have to be like on top of the PTFE tube, but just heat it up enough because PTFE tubes are supposed to stop heat um, from getting there. So then once it gets heated up and you can feel them uh, the pieces being soft, you want to just um, push them kind of into each other so they like form together and then stick it into the cold water to um, make it uh, harden faster. And after a couple seconds, just leave it in the cold water. Uh, you might also need a paper towel or something. And what I do to separate or to get out the, the pieces in here, I just twist the PTFE tube. So you're just trying to loosen it and then you should be able to pull it out and they should be fused together. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of not fused enough with the um, gold, so I'm just gonna push it back. And um, what you might wanna do if it's this much, there's actually a lot of yellow here. So I'm just gonna restart, just cut two new pieces. It takes a little bit of practice to actually get it um, just because it is a little harder to know if you're actually fusing them together. And if they're two different plastics, like this is just PLA and then the other one is um, silk, so they're two different temperatures. But basically, you just want to make sure you heat it up enough, but don't have to burn the PTFE tube. The, it is turning black, but that's not doing much to the tube. It's just making it a different color. So push it into each other. And again, it might be a little easier just to uh, wipe it off before you start removing it and um, make sure you pull I mean now that I have a whole roll of this I have to make sure I pull it off this way towards the gold because that is the end of it but just try break the seal that these have made so as you can see here they are fused there they're a little different thicknesses but this should fit um, fine through your PTFE tube if it is a little tight you might want to keep trying again to get it um, to make sure it fits through there so it doesn't jam your printer. Um, but yeah, so you can trim it down a little bit with a knife if you want, but that's basically how you connect these, and it's super easy. All right, guys, so that's basically just a simple, easy way to um, basically use up your uh, sample filaments or your um, leftover filaments instead of just throwing them away. Uh, you just form them together and actually make some really cool prints with this. I'm uh, not sure if I'm going to print um, anything with this now. I just might add as much as I can um, to it, but I might just do a little print for you guys to try get a couple of the colors in it and show you basically the tr just the transition of it. It is a super easy way, so thank you to, I'm not really sure, I forgot what his name was, but he is on the Facebook group. Um, I believe it's the TiVo Tornado. 
uh, group, but he just brought it up in one of his posts, and then I got the um, help from him. So I've actually tried this many times. It's never worked for me. I've tried using a heat gun, um, but then he just said he used a lighter, and it actually works really great. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will add a clip in now if I actually printed something with this. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got this useful, and I hope you've enjoyed me uploading every single day. I've tried my best to make videos for you guys every day. Um, it's a little harder for me, but I'm getting there, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I am producing now. If you are here at the end of the video, I do appreciate it. Thank you again for sticking around and being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and definitely like this video. If you know anybody who would be interested in this video on uh, basically making a multicolor spool of filament, let me know um, and definitely share it to them. Um, I think this was really cool and a fun little experiment to do. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.